Hey, it's Michael. Welcome to another tutorial. And this time I would like to show you how to create legends or initiatives. Initiatives more, people call it. So what the hell is initiative? So basically in Agile terminology, I believe it's in Agile terminology, it is an issue which is above epics. So like, for instance, you've got initiatives, we've got epics, we've got story and the subtask like this. But there is a problem. What the problem is, Jira by default supports those three levels. So we've got like epics, story, back, task, and the subtask, yeah? And by the way, I'm gonna show you just in a second uh, my slideshow from from last webinar when I, when I talk about this. So to answer that question, I'd say like this, yes, of course, it is possible to do it, but with a caveat. So what is the issue? So the issue is, and then not a lot of people actually talk about this, you need to have, I think it's the called pro version of Jira. So I'm just gonna show you in, in, in a second. So we've had like a free version, like the standard, which is 750 at the moment when I'm recording this um, video per user. And also we've got this pro version. So you only can achieve it like in a proper way, in a proper way, let's say in the Jira Pro. Why? So you can see the hierarchy because that actually legends or, or initiatives is going to be a little bit artificial. And I'm going to show you an example how to do it. All right. So let's very, very, very quick, let's quickly jump into actually my slideshow. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the hierarchy. Okay. Right. So that's super simple slides uh, just to visualize what is the structure of the hierarchy in Jira. So yeah, as I told you before, yes, any Jira, doesn't matter, server or cloud, we've got these three levels. We've got epics and story, for instance, can belong to the epic or whatever. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter if it's actually story, it's a back task, or sub -task, sub -task review. And of course, every ticket in Jira, which is story, back, tasks, could have a subtask. Yeah? So we've got the back and the subtask, story and the subtask. Of course, you know, whatever we call it. So what is going to happen now if we would like to add that additional level on top of it of the Epic? Can you do it? Yes, of course. If you've got Jira Pro, you will see that hierarchy in a plan. So before it was actually called portfolio. That is the difference. And if you could data center, I believe that's the pro exactly same process. In server, no, because obviously in server, there's no such thing as the portfolio anymore. All right, let's get do it. It's actually five-step process, very simple to do it. And I highly want to encourage you to replicate. But before we're going to do it very quickly, I'm going to leave this. Let's jump into Atlassian website. And I'm going to show you the different versions of Jira. So obviously you navigate to product, go to Jira software. You're going to see this screen over here. Uh, what you see so Jira software cloud cloud premium. And now I would like to show you the differences. Yeah. So we're going to scroll it down to see pricing and I call it actually pro, but it's actually premium. <laughs> we've got free, we've got standard and we've got premium. Yeah. So if we keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, we've got, of course, automation analysis, and is our plan yeah capacity planning that's what we need and that's why you need that pro I call it pro premium version so okay how to get this premium, this premium version you can subscribe it for the 30 first 30 days trial they're not going to charge you anything and after that what I do, because unfortunately I have to use it, I reduce the num number of users to Jira to absolutely minimum. So I'm trying basically to keep it to absolutely minimum. One user for me is absolutely fine. Sometimes I have to add two or three, which is still okay. Okay, so when you got it and you log on to your Jira, so I'm gonna close this so it's not gonna be distracting anymore. And I'm gonna go into the, your work. You're gonna see something interesting on top of it. Of course, you're gonna see a plan. So that is our, portfolio before it was called portfolio right so now how to get started with initiatives let's get step one we need of course a scrum 
project or Kanban probably doesn't really matter. So when we've got it, I already created with some sample data. We need to add a new issue type to our JIRA. And of course, I'm doing this operation as the administrator, system administrator or JIRA administrator. Yeah, so if you want to do it, please follow the steps. So we navigate to issues and we go to types, of course. And because I've already have it, but let's do it. <laughs> let's assume you actually can see this. Yeah, so that's a very standard uh, scheme. Of course, make sure you're changing only for one project. And if you, like me, can't see initiatives, that means you've already been adding this. But if you cannot see initiatives, just please hit that add issue type, yeah? And put the name, and it's gonna be a standard issue type. And of course, you know, that will be just this like a gray icon. But later, if you go to issue types, you can change that icon. So now you need to add it. Okay, that's completed. Don't forget to save it. I'm not gonna save it because I already have it. So there you go. So let's go back. Project SPC. Okay, we have got it. So now let's create our first initiative. Yeah. And again, I already have it, but it's fine because I'm going to create another one. So let's create our initiative. So again, make sure that's the project. The type is, of course, initiative. And I'm going to start calling like two. And I don't really need the other elements in my case, but in your case, I will probably go, you know, in a production, probably go set separate uh, workflows for initiative and also create separate uh, field scheme and screens. All right, so that's going to be it. So I'm going to create this. And here is a little bit more interesting because I've already been doing this. Normally, Normally, I, I'm a little bit not sure why this like this because sometimes it doesn't work like that. So normally, you, you will see initiative in the backlog. So it up, it is absolutely 100% up to you. But um, I do not actually recommend to list that initiative in a backlog. It's up to you. And I'm going to show you how to do it and, and why I don't know why it works like this. Because I've been rehearsing this three or four times before. Uh, and sometimes there is like adding this automatically. Sometimes it's not touching uh, the backlog configuration. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do it. So normally, normally I'm assuming you're going to see that initiative over here, which is in the backlog. It will be, of course, on the top if you've got the default configuration. Great. So we already have it. So now step two, step two, three, or probably four, will be to create a plan. So if you do not have it, you need to go to the uh, plans and create plan. Again, put the name select whatever you want. In my case, it's going to, of course, project as SS, uh, SCP, probably that's, that's the name, and create. Of course, I'm, I have it, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, but if I am going to navigate now to plans to my SCP demo, I'm going to see all tickets, including, including, of course, my initiative Two. But hold on, you know, because we're going to come back to that in the second. So go back to the project and now hit the dot, uh, like, like somewhere like maybe issues here, hit dot. So I thought it doesn't really work very well, <laughs> it's not really dot. Okay, so why dot? Because it's a shortcut, yeah? So we need advanced roadmap hierarchy configuration. That's why you don't really need to hit the dot, 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 dot. You find them, you're probably going to find them somewhere in the in the global configuration on the right hand side, but because you know, dot works really well, why not? And now I'm going to go for advanced hierarchy configuration. And I already have it, but okay, let's assume I do not. <laughs> let's save this like this. So now you need to add initiative to the hierarchy issue type. Very simple process. Again, you're going to hit plus call it legends maybe let's call it legend now legend yep and as the legend of course i am gonna select my initiative yeah where it is there you go okay and let's save it we're almost done it's a simple process and by the way you know this is also the way how you can do it if you want to add even something above so why this is very, very strict to this pro or 
or the advanced version you know what i'm talking about because unfortunately in the free version or that standard one you won't be able to create plants yeah so we almost done almost done two more steps okay so now what we should do before we actually start configuring our plan so normally i will leave this you can actually do this open but what i'm going to do i will go for scp my project and i need one more very small change just tell jira to show me that my initiative is linked somehow to epic why because normally a lot of people won't be even able to access that plan because it's restricted yeah and i'm assuming there is going to be some uh, some administrators maybe some other scrum masters which do not have access to planning can happen actually is, is, is pretty often so in that case how to display it you go to project settings and you need to go to screens and in screens obviously make sure that the screen covers initiative as i told you before normally on a production i would just separate the screen yeah but in this case that's fine so i will go for any because it's actually the same and i need to add please remember parent link parent link so i'm going to remove this just show you parent link yeah that's it you can actually move it somewhere it doesn't really matter too much and again make sure it, how many project is going to effect yeah, it's going to be only one so cool so now it is actually showing so we can start mapping them in our plan so we're almost done so now we need to tell jira the last very last step how to map to our initiative our epic so of course you know make sure you already have some epics like me i have two epics which is fine and the second epic i drag in yeah, like this yep i'm sure you know how to do it and i know there is actually five epics great so now let's map that epic number two scp spc actually 25 to my initiative how to do it of course you cannot do it from here you need to do it from plan so we go into the scp and i'm interested about the second whatever doesn't really matter and look you can do it in a few ways but the simplest way is drag and drop so you can basically drag this underneath your epic and boom that's it you can also do it like basically use that bulk action and change a parent that's the same but i like drag and drop and of course the last very step is when we're using plan review changes because please remember whatever you're doing on the on on on, on the plan board like creating issues is actually really cool stuff we, I'm, I'm planning to record separate video about the plan is not gonna basically whatever you processing data right here in that board is not affecting until you review changes really cool like like commit yeah so if you're creating issues adding some dates modifying you can leave it open even with that scenario and when you're ready you review changes and that is that's how that data is populated in your project but i'm fine i'm going to review that change bang let's see so now if i'm going to go back to my jira SPC. and because it's not on the backlog but it is still going to be in issues and i am going to open my 27 on a full screen mode there you go and of course as you can actually told you before that child issue this is the stuff what we added really simple process okay oh and by the way i also going to show you <laughs> I almost forgot about this how to make sure that the initiatives are not shown on the backlog and in active sprints i don't know you know maybe that's not the case in in maybe this is not going to be your case at your jira but i like like this so very simple process you need to this is actually a filter yeah so you need to navigate to meatballs board settings columns sorry general <laughs> edit filter query and you need to little bit adjust the query filter yeah so make sure that the project whatever scp that, that we're not going to touch of course or there by rank please do not do not remove it but we need to add and issue type is not initiative yeah that's it and job done so that's it really simple 
uh, it's a few step, few step process. Of course, make sure that you've got this Jira, how they call it, Jira Premium, yeah? And if you've got any questions, please let me know. But hold on one second, because I have something, a message for you. So if you like what I do and you want to maybe talk to me or maybe thinking to take your Jira to another level, I'm organizing twice a month Jira workshop. And you're going to find in the description more details about the workshops. Also, if you want to join my Facebook group, you're very welcome or newsletter, you're going to find a description in this video below, below this video. So that's it for now. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Thank you so much. And in this corner, probably in this corner, you're going to find another tutorial to watch. Thanks a lot.